This is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at is the widow maker. Somehow or other that stuck. It's the project I've been working on. And I've taken it out of the 9 inch tube and put it in a tube that's 16 by 6 to give you some more idea of what the capability of this cell is. This is really putting out hydrogen compared to what we have seen in the past. The size of this cell compared to the amount of space it's putting hydrogen into there. The other interesting fact is, or at least a noticeable thing that's going on here, is it looks like it's the amount of hydrogen. I haven't been able to really discern any of the oxygen bubbles coming up there. I know they're there, but that has got to be part of this system. One thing I want to do is point you to my site, hydrogentap.com. I've redesigned it, and I'm putting more and more things up there every day. A lot of things have been left off it only because I'm reloading this site. Another thing I want to tell you about is the YouTube, for some reason, is not allowing the postings to go on any of my videos now. I've tried it on a number of them and keeps coming up with an error message. If anybody knows anybody in YouTube, it would sure be a help. I figured this is the second day and the comments have been, been piling up to say the least, but there's nothing I can do about it. I keep getting an error message. I've tried it from other people's computers and it's not my computer. So as you're watching, you're noticing that the amperage is going down. That's because the battery is going down. In a moment, I'm going to put a charger system on it, which will bring it up over 13 volts. And then you're going to see a steady stream come up there. But if you look, it is really putting out, even at 2.9, it's incredible. This kind of changes a lot of my thinking about the cell systems and, of course, the pulsing systems. I do have a video or s that is going on a CD of this cell. If anyone's interested, you can go on hydrogentap.com. Anybody who wants to make a comment or communi communicate with me, please write me at John Aarons at hydrogentap.com. That's John Aarons with an S at hydrogentap.com. That'll go to my email direct and it'll bypass YouTube. Again, none of the comments are going to YouTube right now. YouTube is giving me an error message. Okay, the system is off. Again, that tube there is 16 by 6. And there we've just put on the charging system, which if you look on the left side, we're at 13.27 volts. And we're still only running 2.27 or 8 amps. But it'll be steady. And look at the amount of hydrogen coming up from this cell. Remember, this cell is really small. In a moment, I'll show you how tall this tube is.
I just had an email asking me if I'll be selling the Aaron cell system again. It will be going up tonight. It's taken a lot of time to reconstruct the site, and I've been spending most of my days and nights in the lab, as you can imagine. What you see is what we have here, 2.25 amps at 13.30 volts. With the right formula out of this, should be able to make any of the Aaron cell perform like this. I've had a lot of people asking or telling me that they believe it's the two electrodes that are producing the hydrogen there. That's not a fact at all. That hydrogen is coming up between the plates. There's a lot of speculation about this cell, and that's good. Once it can be mapped out, you'll be able to do anything you want. There's this, the tube, 16-inch. You can see it's full of hydrogen. And that's the one single battery that it's working off of. That's working off of only 12 volts. It's not working off 100 volts or 300 volts or 1,000 volts. That cell isn't 12 inches high. That cell is around 3 inches high. There's not a couple of cells in there. There's only one cell doing this, and it only has four plates. There's no pulsing system to this. What you see is what is there. The only magic thing on this cell is the way it's mathematically constructed, meaning the space between the cell, the plates, I don't think I have to explain any more. I think it's pretty obvious. So the plates aren't are not evenly mounted, meaning the space on the from on the bottom of the plate is not the same as the space on the top of the plate between the top of the plate. Also, the space between on the bottom of the plate system is not the same as the space on the top of the plate system. You can see the amperage is still 220. We haven't even approached the 5, 6, and 7 amps that everyone else is showing. This is running in distilled water using lye for the electrolyte. Again, there is no pulse system here. This is straight. If you put these numbers in, 13 volts and 2.18 amps, A lot of questions. 